watching No to Nine. Hello, and welcome to No to Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 89, Basic X-Pages Troubleshooting. Scope. It's not just a mouthwash. Okay, uh, in this show, it's a little different uh, because I have a viewer question, and I'm excited because I have a viewer, and that's that's always nice to know. Um, so in this show, um, Kate had a problem with X-Pages, and Kate is new to X-Pages, and whenever someone says you're new to X-Pages, it's like a bell's going off, and then an the angel gets their wings, and the air is just a little bit cleaner, uh, so I'm always excited when I hear that. Um, so basically, I don't usually do this, but she had me with new to X pages. Um, but really, it, it, she she kind of got me with, with really good timing and, and the problem sounded really easy. So uh, I said, okay, I, I can help you out with this one. Uh, typically, it's, it's, it's hard for me to really get into technical support for viewer questions. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, so there's no guarantees. But her question was, session scope variables don't work, uh, which uh, I, I felt bad because as far as I know, they do work. And I got, kind of got curious as to why they didn't work for her. Um, so that being said, let's just, uh, again, uh, on the disclaimer, how do you get help uh, for your X pages applications other than emailing me and knowing that I, I might not be able to help you? Um, well, there's there's a bunch of places to go. The, the first place I would go is ask your question on stackoverflow.com. Uh, use the tag X pages there. There's a lot of questions, over 700, I think, already been answered. Um, it's, and there's a lot of visibility there. Uh, Google X Pages Forum. I'm not going to put the, the IBM link up there because I can never remember it. I always just Google X Pages Forum, and the first link gets you to the forum. And it's actually fairly active. And uh, and, uh, and Paul Calhoun does a lot of posting there. And Paul Calhoun uh, is a past contributor and uh, a great trainer and mentor. Um, so so he's he's been monitoring that as I'm sure some other people have as well. So that's a good place to have a little more discussion going if you wanted to get a little more esoteric then you can get on Stack Overflow, um, etc. Um, go to a lug, you know. I mean it's the lugs are not just about sessions and Lotusphere is not just about sessions, it's about people. Make a friend. Uh, you know, exchange contact information and, and, and email each other and, and work together. You know, hey, hey, are you stuck on anything or what, what are you working on lately or, or what am I working on lately or here, here's some code that I was working on. What do you think of this? You know, share with each other, you know, uh, build, build a relationship um, that can last. I mean, I've met and made a lot of great friends uh, going to the different Lotus Spheres and Lugs now uh, that I wouldn't have if I hadn't have done that. So that is the, the most valuable thing you can do at a lug is meet the people. Um, the next thing is to install the OpenNTF Debug Toolbar by Mark Lusink, uh, which I'm going to actually show you in this video as well. Um, so that is the first thing you should almost always do, especially when you're talking about scope variables, for goodness sake, that's because that's what that shows you. Um, installing Firebug is another good one for debugging your your web pages, etc. So th those are some great places to start to, to go get help. Um, the other thing is, is, I would just say, is, is break it down into the smallest piece. Uh, X Pages usually has a lot of things, a lot of moving parts going on. It's it's easy to get confused or something screwing you up over here that has nothing to do with w what the actual problem is is, is causing. Um, so in this case here, you know, it was a she thought it was a scope problem, and, re and the reality was it was something else. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself, so with that being said, uh, let's go to the demo. Okay, so what we have here is a database um, given to me by a, a viewer of Notes of Nine uh, named Kate. And what she has done is um, she's trying to use session scope variables, and it's not working. Uh, so let's take a look and see why it's not working. Uh, before we get started, I just want to show you this problem here. This problem has nothing to do with her application. This is um, something I'm working working on. So of course, my stuff has problems because that's how I roll, but uh, that is not her problem. So if we look at this uh, first page, and let's view it in the browser. Okay, so what she has is, is all these labels over here, and what she's expecting to get is if I click on this link to start filling this stuff in on the side. Okay, so I clicked on set session scope variables. I didn't get any values here, and this one doesn't work either. So that's not good. So she also has all these uh, labels here for like different events, uh, but I think she ripped this code out before she got to me. So uh, there really aren't that many events that she's working with, just these links. 
So before we go on, I, I want to know for sure if anything is getting s set here uh, when we click that. So maybe she's got a problem here and I'm not seeing it, um, etc. So let's I'm gonna close these browsers. So let's look at that. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I, I've done a show on this before, is open NTF. I'm going to import a reusable control from open NTF. This is a control you want in all your stuff. X page debug toolbar. It's uh, from Mark uh, Lusink, uh, I believe uh, is how you pronounce his name. And so before we do anything, we're going to add this control. And we don't need to import that. Now, if we look at this again, we've got this new custom control here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it in on the top here and save it. And for grins, I'm going to throw it in here and save that as well, just so we have it. Okay, so now if we look at this custom control, it's automatically installed from OpenNTF except for one thing. Uh, Mark recently converted to Java for uh, whatever reason, so we have to actually create this as a managed bean. So all you have to do is copy and paste this business right here and come into Designer and in... Uh, your package explorer that's what this is or one of these is um, you come down here to web content web inf and uh, faces config and just come in here and paste that bad boy in okay so now if we come back and try it again the debug toolbar is actually working and you can see and I know she's working with session scopes here so if we click on this here's all the session scopes we have okay so there's really nothing here so if we click on set session scope there's still nothing here and if we it's hiding that button there a little bit if we try this one session scope nothing there so that is not getting set so let's let's look at that. So if I look look here at, at this side of the, her page, that's a custom control, and she's got these labels. And first, I just want to see what these labels are, are doing. Oops. This resolution is not that fun to work with, but it's better to screencast. Okay, so she's reading in test one as a session scope variable, and reading in test two as a session scope variable right there. So let's look at how they're supposed to be setting. Well this is another custom control she has. Set session scopes to A and B. And if we look over here, session scope dot test equals test one A, test one B. Um, well that probably should have been test two there. But okay, okay, let's start fixing this. So the first thing I'll say, and this has nothing to do with the problem, is I really prefer puts and gets for my session scope variables. and that would end up looking something like this and the reason why I like doing that is I, I just think it's a little cleaner I, I think it's a letter, little better habit because you can't always use this dot notation and session scope is, is a map right so there's already methods uh, available to it and if you choose a variable uh, that has the same method name well your results might vary um, and if you have variables that is not a current method name and gets added later after the fact your results might vary um, so uh, keep that in mind so I like puts and gets but that has nothing to do with her problem whatsoever her problem is in this link control she's setting these session scope variables she's doing a full update but if we come over here she has this link type set to open page and she's giving it a page name well what I believe is going on is this link type is this is firing before this is so it's just a matter of timing here so we're gonna test this we're gonna create a new link or two and we'll call this set 
A and B. And in the events, I'm going to add simple action, execute script, and session scope dot put because I'm me. And it was just a test one. And we'll just do and we'll copy this. And we'll do test two. B. And we'll add another action then to take care of that open page she had to go to page two. Okay, we're going to save that and then we're going to just copy this whole thing and do it and make some modifications. And we'll call this C D. We'll set this to be open page one. I'm just trying to get the, the original intended, func intended functionality in here. And B, C, D. And we're going to leave this blank. So we're not, we're not going to touch that at all. Okay. So now we've got the originals and we've got the new ones. So if we kick this off and we say set a and B. Now we have all these things filling in. If we look at Mark's control, session scope, we can see them right here. And and this is a great control. You can you can clear them right here too if we wanted to, but uh, I don't want to confuse the issue. So if we come back here with that label button, C and D. Oh, it's already there. So here's all the C's and D's. So we can go back. Yeah, she, she has a little different page going on here. So changed instantly. And if we look at our session scope variables, C and D, and again, we can get rid of these, close them, and if we were to refresh, they'd be gone. So, again, that's that's a pretty good control. So, anyway, that is uh, Kate's problem, uh, and the problem was when working with links, and you want to get a little fancier with them, you, you might want to give up on this business here, or you, you probably have to, and uh, come to... Oops and come to either just using pure server-side JavaScript, or you can chain your uh, simple actions to do a bunch of things. You can add groups and get some logic in there. I haven't gone, gotten too fancy with it or so. Um, but that uh, should solve the problem. And that's the demo. Uh, if you have any questions for me on this one, since, since I did this show, I can answer these kind of questions. So here's uh, my information, and I thank you for your time.